All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we'll get started. When I tap you sure on the shoulder, please state your name for the folks at home. Mikey. Mikey? Mm -hmm. Friendly little spud, aren't you? <laughs> Where are you from, Mikey, if that's your real name? Lakewood, California. Lakewood, eh? Check him out. <laughs> okay. And Secretariat is moving across the floor. <laughs> so, Mikey, from Lakewood, what do you do for a living? I work in graphic arts. Really? You surprise me. <laughs> what do you do in graphic arts? I create uh, promotional flyers and uh, graphics for uh, a All right, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> so, um, when I uh, came out earlier on, I need to have my eyes checked because what I said was you threw the goat when I was coming out and I said, oh, the lady who threw the goat, come on down. <laughs> you are in fact a dude, aren't you? I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all right. Hey, hey. Give a round of applause for just being a dude. <laughs> Unless you had to go through a lot of procedures to. No. All right. Um, so, Mike, I want to ask you about your beard. Yes, sir. It's a small, pointy goatee. Yes, sir. Is there any significance to that? Could be. What is it then? Is it some kind of gamer thing? No. Is it some kind of graphic design thing? Could be. Are you a spy? <laughs> if I told you, I'd have to kill you. You'd be putting me out of my misery. <laughs> <laughs> what, was that too dark? That was awesome. Oh, was it? Yeah, all right. Uh, all right, Mikey, I have one question for you. If you get this question correct, you will um, be able to go for a free dinner at Lab Cafe La Bohème. Yep. Oh, you love it there, Mikey. <laughs> It's a French restaurant, right? Have you ever been to France? No. Well, this is like going to France, but better. Uh, <laughs> all right, here's the question. Yes, sir. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Correct? Correct. That's the right answer. You got that you're going to Cafe La Bohème. Yeah. We'll be right back with the show, everybody. Bye, guys. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by the Quicksilver Card from Capital One. Earn 1.5% cash back on every purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. New York, they elected a new mayor. Anthony Weiner still hasn't given up, though. He was seen outside the polls saying, last chance to see my penis, everyone. <laughs> They're like, we've seen it, Anthony. Thank you. <laughs> One more look. <laughs> the new mayor is uh, Bill de Blasio. He's the first Democrat mayor in, in, in 20 years in New York. Now, 20 years ago in New York, Times Square was filled with strip clubs and porno theaters. So I'm counting on the new mayor to restore it to its former glory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, you can't... Oh! I see this audience is depraved. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. You'll fit right in. <laughs> in New Jersey, they re-elected uh, Chris Christie by a huge margin. Is there any other way? <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> he's overweight. <laughs> It was not a good day, another bad day for Rob Ford, the alleged crack-smoking mayor of Toronto. <laughs> well, I, actually, I don't have to say alleged anymore. Today he admitted to doing what the police had accused him of. Today he fessed up to smoking crack. <laughs> that's, that's our crack-smoking music. <laughs> it actually sounds a little bit like 70s detective TV show yes, music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer the music that we have for Taking Ecstasy. You got that? <laughs> what about the LSD music? You got the LSD music? <laughs> if you've ever taken LSD, you'll know how accurate that music is. <laughs> Do you get a picture of Rob Ford from today, the alleged crack smoking mayor? There he is. Looks like the only thing that guy smokes is ham. Because <laughs> he's overweight, you know. <laughs> anyway, Ford said after today, he said he felt like he'd had a thousand pounds being lifted from his shoulders. <laughs> oh man, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, this. <laughs> It's not his shoulders, he needs the pounds taken out of! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mayor Ford said that he smoked a crack when he was in a drunken stupor. Now look, is that a defense? <laughs> is, it's bad when your defense is, I did it in a drunken stupor. That doesn't absolve you of your behavior. I killed the guy, but I was drunk. <laughs> okay, run along then, don't do it again. Boys will be boys. <laughs> Ford said he'd do anything to change the past. Then he said he'd do anything for another hit. I can't, I'm sorry, I can't get behind that music as being cracky at all. No, no. That music is, uh, you know, come on, Starsky, let's go and see Huggy Bear or something. Yeah, we're solving crime. So, that's that's solving crime music. That's not, that's not crack music. Do you have any other cracky music? Come on, let's... It's not bad. Wow. <laughs> not bad. Are you allowed to play that? Yeah. I'll play it again then. <laughs> all right, all right. That's, that's enough. Nobody needs to see a middle aged white guy dancing around to that kind of music. <laughs> anyway, I'm thinking of this Rob Ford character. How come he's still in office? I think the Canadians are just too polite to tell a crackhead to step down. They're like, he's been smoking a lot of crack. Well, I'm not going to talk to him. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do I'm it I'm sorry, I'm not going over there. He's been... See, I try and do a Canadian accent, and I start sounding like a pirate. <laughs> As I start, I try and talk like a Canadian, and then suddenly I'm talking like that. Here's my impression of a Canadian prostitute. A dollar make you holler, eh? <laughs> That's Pretty really good. good. Yeah, I like that? Yeah. That's really good. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. I don't want to do any more of this crap. Yeah, I don't blame you, man. You know what? I, I like to say, though, many of the shows that I did here, it's not my fault. I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What the hell? Could you... I, now, what... In what world is that okay? Like, I, you know, I was in one of my, you know, it was one of my drunken rampages. Oh, if, if it was one of your drunken rampages, then that's fine. Yeah. Like I it. tried that excuse when I went into rehab. They're like, no, that's not really an excuse, Craig. That's a symptom of what you've got going on. I'm here to help. I feel better already. Do you? Yeah. Do you ever smoke a lot of crack? Oh, yeah. Isn't it obvious? Yeah. It's a little... Yeah. I have to say... Yeah. It's a little more obvious with you than it is with Rob Ford in Toronto. Yeah, you know? it is. Yeah. He, you're more the classic. Uh, look, like play that music and look at Jeff. Yeah, yeah, that's your crack right there. Yeah. All right, all right. What I like is that when they do it, they have the fire kind of going behind yeah, you yeah, as well. Yeah. It's awesome. It's like a video from the 1980s. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Here? I don't know, man. It's like nobody cares anymore. I understand. Do you still have the heroin music for last night? <laughs> That's the music they played last night when I was talking about heroin because I was trying to marry up different pieces of music to drugs. So I said heroin and they played this. You see what I'm working with here? 
<laughs> Heroin and unicorns. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get that? Yeah. I'll have some of that. All right, well, I'll sell you some during the commercial break. <laughs> All right, we have to go to a commercial break. Uh, right. Who are the sponsors this evening? Something awesome, I assume. Um, you, uh, excellent products? You corporate whore. <laughs> no, it's not? No. I'll be boner pills in the ShamWow oh, again, yeah. won't oh, it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the excellent products. Yeah. <laughs> Do the thing. All right. Yes, you're watching this show, but you're doing it in a drunken stupor. <laughs> Tonight we're going crack crazy. No, that's the old crack music. Right. I wanted to use the new crack music. <laughs> I like the way you finished it off there with a sea shanty at Thank the you. end. Thank you. It's like pirates who enjoy crack. Aye. And we like a bitter crack. What's that in my booty? <laughs> Looks like a piece of pipe. Do you got some crack in your peg leg? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> please, please, please do not do that. Please do not applaud this kind of mediocrity. <laughs> Look, they started it. If they're going to be passive aggressive with me, I'm going to be passive yeah, aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peters? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who often mistakes male goats for females. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see what you did. Play the jingle, would you? Uh, from Leanne in Antwerp in Belgium. Now listen, of course, tweets and emails don't arrive in paper form. We just put them in paper form because the CBS demographic doesn't understand. <laughs> right? What? What's a tweet? What's a tweet and an email, my see? It looks like a letter to me. Ha! Ah, letters are a thing of the past, Grandad. <laughs> but it, it's electronic. It must be the devil. <laughs> Anyway, the, from Leanne in Antwerp in Belgium. Can you do a Belgian accent? Oh, yeah, sure. All oh, right, I'll, I'll give it a go then. Yeah. Oh, you can't, can you read it from there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> it says, Dear Craig. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that, is that the accent? Yeah, yeah. Let's hear it. Dear Craig, kiss my ass. <laughs> is that what it says? No, that sounds a little bit like uh, Christopher Walken in a German accent. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Hello, I would like some Venus schnitzel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leanne in Antwerp, Belgium. I'll try the Belgian accent. Dear Craig, und, und Jeff. Uh, I'll just read it regular. Will yeah. I read it regular? No, do it in German. I like uh, well, yeah. <laughs> dear Craig and Jeff, do you have a favorite Smurf? Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, well, what Smurf do you prefer? Oh, Papa. Yeah, I like the, uh, <laughs> why? Oh, I was just saying, oh, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I like the blue one. What's his name? The blue one. Uh, yeah, well, they're all blue, man. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. Smurfette. I, uh, Smurfette. Smurfette? Is you that the lady her. Smurf? Sure. 
I, I, I think Smurfette implies a very small Smurf. Yeah. Like, but, there's a Smurf, and then a Smurfette, and then a Smurferini. Smurfer, Smurferini? Smurferini's the Italian Smurf, yes. yeah. Well, it's a common to go. I don't know. This is from Davis in Sacramento. I don't know if you can tell, but Davis is some kind of baby uh, bird. Oh, looks like a loon there. Dear Craig, how many writers do you have on your show and could you use one more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, this is from Mika in Columbus. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. What do you like about Columbus? Oh, the middle part's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. What flavor lozenges do you choose when you have a sore throat? Licorice or berry? Oh, they, see, this is a serious question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a sore throat? A little bit, a little bit, yeah. You don't, you don't have a throat. <laughs> No, but it's sore. <laughs> Are you sore about not having a throat? I'm very sore about not having a throat, yeah. Okay. What do you do? Uh, do you have licorice or berry? <laughs> Did you get that? I didn't understand he's it. He's playing air bingo. Air bingo. <laughs> so when you have a sore throat, you like to play air bingo. <laughs> Do you want, you want some music for that movement? All right, then, do you have any music for that movement? That big, bad booty on the floor, I know I do it. Wow. Come on, now you can dance to that. Come on. That's awesome. That's enough. We have to. Uh... You know, I think you should run for mayor of Toronto. <laughs> uh, because, uh, oh yeah, lozenges, uh, yeah, licorice. What about you? Yeah, like. Yeah, licorice. licorice yeah, yeah, it's yeah, fine. Yeah. This is from Ash uh, Ashraf in Sudan. <laughs> Okay. Uh, dear Craig, I love your show. Greetings from the Sudan. Back at you. <laughs> this is from uh, Angie in St. Louis. <laughs> Craig, whoa, with all the Justin Bieber jokes, aren't you afraid of the wrath of the believers? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Instagram the crikey. I mean, what? <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't know. Have I been doing a lot of Bieber jokes? No, man. No. Yeah, you should trying to stir up trouble. Yeah, you should do more. Do more, man. Do more Bieber yeah, jokes? Yeah. No, you do, you do some. <laughs> <laughs> this is from, and finally, it's from Alexandra in Milwaukee. He says, Craig, do you want to come over from Thanksgiving? We're serving two kinds of stuffing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. He's a very talented, very dignified, Oscar-winning actor, which begs the question, why is he here? <laughs> well, he has a new film out called Last Vegas, which is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Kevin Klein, everybody, Kevin Klein. Kevin, you look very well and very you, distinct. You look I, well too. I like you. Can you do a Scottish accent? Not at all. It sounded like you could. I try a little. 
I didn't get word of that. Did no. you get any of that? No. no. Have you ever been there? No, no, I, I, I wouldn't have guessed. No, I've never been, uh, nor will I ever be invited to go. <laughs> well, you don't often get invited to go to countries, do you? Unless you're a sort of, well, I guess if you're a movie star, they say, come over to our country. Yeah, and come over, there's a film festival somewhere. Yes, that's true. There's a big film festival, the Edinburgh Film Festival. You should go. All right. Is that an invitation? I'm inviting you. <laughs> All right. On behalf of Scotland, I don't think they'll let me invite anyone, though. No, no, you gotta have you gotta, you gotta have an official capacity. Scottish accent to be invited. Uh, well, then that might yeah. get me in. I um, <laughs> the film is about uh, you know a bachelor party in Las Vegas. Did you know that? Well, uh, uh, superficially, that's what it's about, but that's not what it's really about. Well, it's about the the ennui of uh, midlife, the uh, yeah. the death of. The death. Innocence. Innocence. The, it's about four friends reckoning, coming to, into a, uh, uh, an existential reckoning uh, with um, their age vis-a-vis -vis, uh, maturity in its uh, most profound sense. <laughs> but there, there are boobies in it, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. Yeah, now you are. Now you got a movie. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you a Vegasy person? Are you a gambler? or? A... No. Uh, do, None of degenerate in any way, shape, or form? Uh, I, I, no, just a, in, no. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. No, I, uh, I'm not a, a, a Las vegas -y type. You don't gamble in it? Uh, do you no. know what about poker? A lot of the movie stars play poker now. I know, I know. You don't? No. What about uh, bingo, air bingo? You ever played air bingo? No. Air bingo? Air bingo, yeah. The horse does it. I don't ah. <laughs> what is he trying to say? I don't really know. <laughs> Don't you have horses? You keep horses, don't oh, you? Yeah, I, well, I, can you tell me what he's saying? I don't quite know how to read him. <laughs> Her. It. it no, it, it's a hem. Well, it depends on yeah, what night you're here, hem. actually. It's a hem. Did yeah. you film any of this in Las Vegas? Yes. So did you like it then? No. Oh, I see. No, I mean, yeah, I loved it. It was the perfect backdrop because, you know... Because the movie's set there, yeah. I mean, that well, would help, yeah. because it's about this existential uh, yeah, reckoning yeah, yeah, and all that. that yeah, and yeah. so you need a backdrop, which is pure youth-driven uh, uh, fantasy. Uh, Do you ever have any youth-driven fantasies? <laughs> Oof, it's been a while. <laughs> No, they're, they're more age-driven. Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean, yeah. I feel the, the effects of age uh, quite dramatically. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, you know when you start well, putting cameras in your yeah. bum well, I'm, I'm, I'm peeing right now. You're peeing? Yeah. There's a lot of peeing. I've noticed but a lot of just, itching You get used well. to it. <laughs> yeah, I am. I, I was peeing during the monologue. Ah. <laughs> that explains a yeah, lot. Yeah, that, that would be why, yeah. And also itching, I seem to itch a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like areas where you're like, why is that itching? There's like the no, side of my head. Why? Yeah. It's 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 some phantom memory of a, of a mosquito from 40 years ago. <laughs> That's an interesting way to think of it. Do you find yourself? Uh, my scientific insights are about as good as my <laughs> Scottish accent. Your scientific insights and your Scottish accent make me think that you're a Nobel Prize contendee. <laughs> Well, Do you ever think of moving to Florida and just getting ointment and rubbing yourself all over with it? That's, that's what I think I'm going to do. That's down the line a little bit. I, I don't foresee it in the, in, the, in the near future. Well, what are you doing now, then? Are you still riding horses? When you're yeah. not peeing? I, I'm peeing on horseback. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Where do you live now, then? You don't live in St. Louis? You, no. Well, you moved to Cincinnati on horseback, I uh, guess. Briefly, and then I moved further east uh, and in a northerly direction to New York City, where I now... You live in New York City? Yeah. You can't keep horses in New York City unless you're the cops. <laughs> yes. Or an undercover cop, masquerading as an actor. You're freaking me out right now. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You say... And Whoa. N N NYPD. Oh, or when you're on the horse. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. or, uh, or when you're smoking the... Uh... What? Crack. Have you never been to Toronto? Everybody's doing it, man. <laughs> I've heard. You hear about this poor man? I think he's probably got a problem. I think that's what it is. Yeah, was, and he's kind of minimizing it with, yeah. you know, <clears throat> oh, dear. And, yeah. and what happened to today? In the, did he get voted back in? I think Were they all in a drunken I, I don't know what's going on. No, as no, far as I can tell, I think he's now more popular. Uh, he's now more popular in Toronto than he was beforehand because the Canadians, I think, are like, well, he's getting our name out there. You know? <laughs> That's true. <coughs> and he came clean. You know, he, he said, did. yes, I did smoke crack. 
because I was in a drunken stupor. Yeah. <laughs> I find it fascinating. Well, that's that it's, uh, uh, people like because they can see themselves reflected. So he's like me. He's he's, he's like me. I crack smoking drunk. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's that accessibility. Yeah, I guess I should be more forgiving. I mean, I was a. Uh, I mean, they didn't have crack when I was drinking, or else I would have used it. <laughs> it's not a very good drug, I'm told. It's not good for you. Yeah, well, it's, it's not I, airplane glue, you know. Well, which is also not good for you. No, I know. Do okay. we have any music for airplane glue by any chance? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that was particularly successful. We have to take a commercial break. Are you familiar with those? Commercial break, what happens is we stop the show and then advertise some stuff and then we come back. Okay, I'll run and go to the bathroom. <laughs> How long are the breaks? <clears throat> How long do you need? <laughs> we'll be right back. We're back. Okay. Yeah, we're back. We're out of time, though. We're back, okay. but we're out of time. Well, it was lovely seeing you. Well, it was lovely to see you, too. I wish you'd brought your horse. I brought mine. I see that. Next time. Well, how many horses do you have? Oh, I've got stables full. I feel you're mocking me. No. <laughs> Why would you think I have horses? I don't know. I just, you seem horsey to me. You seem like someone is... I I'm, love horses. Do you love them, but you don't have any. Because I can do you a deal on this one. Yeah, sure. No, he's not having any. Yeah. There. You don't want to move to New York? Okay. No, you know. You Did you? Oh, you've got a new. You got a new mayor in New York. Yes. We, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I should have been there for that. <clears throat> well, you you probably voted, didn't you? Uh, yeah. Sure. Probably. Let's say yeah. Yeah. You a well, movie star vote? You just kind of like go. Yeah. That guy. I endorsed him. <laughs> someone writes it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Well, I campaigned for him. You know. Did you? No. <laughs> but I should have. Do you get involved in politics ever? Nope. It's very wise, actually, I think. Well, yeah. yes, especially. Unless you want to, you know, meet the good crack dealers. It's, uh, yeah, they get the best. The best crack, crack. yeah. Yes. Uh, no, I don't, uh, I don't go in for that sort of thing. Mm, I understand. No. I well, we're out of time. Okay. Do you fancy an awkward pause? Or, and by that, I mean continuing the awkward pause? <laughs> fancy an awkward pause? Sure. Or a little uh, bit of, uh, I'll, I'll you have do to remind it. me. Uh, yeah, well, what we do is we just uh, awkwardly uh, pause. Yes. Pete again. You just be the game. <laughs> oh, we better go. Uh, Kevin Klein, everybody. <laughs> accomplished and beautiful young actress, which begs the question, where is she? Yeah, yeah. Her show, Witches of East End, is a Sunday's on Lifetime Network. Take a look at this. This is on Lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to Lifetime? <laughs> Jenna Duane Tatum, everybody. Absolutely Aww. enchanting. Thank very, you. very nice. Enchanting. Uh, enchanting magical. and magical. Yes, witchy. you've got the witchy kind of hair yeah, thing going and the yeah. kind of little bit of witchiness going yeah, on. Yeah, you kinda you can't you can't escape it with these waves and the Yeah, no, I'm like... seeing it. Don't think I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing it. It's like <laughs> nice. what the what is, I know. With this, I thought Lifetime was about 
Honey, uh, you'll get over it. Not the new it's lifetime. <laughs> not the new lifetime. We're edgy. It's, it is We're edgy. Sexy. It's sexy. It's like Harry it's Potter like, with yeah. breasts. Yeah. It's amazing. Exactly. It's what I feel like every day. I feel like that. Is that what, the, is that what the, the, the show is about? Yeah. Um, it's a wizarding academy for hot girls? Right. Yeah. No. no. Really? Well, the cool thing is it is all women. There's like, there's two male characters, but it's really about the women. And Whoa. it's like magical. Whoa, Whoa shut up. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, you know, it's witches and magic and fun and sexiness. Do you believe in that? Do you believe in sexiness? I mean, I believe in sexiness. Right. I definitely believe in sexiness. Right. Magic, you know, uh, I, I don't know. The you ever seen stuff. a ghost or anything? I have. You know what? I did in New really? Orleans. It, well, I in did. New Orleans, you can't avoid I know, them. They're I know, everywhere. I know, I know. <laughs> you walk down the street, there's like, are you, there's like, like, are you real? Are you real? Are I you know. I don't know. Like, Do you see me? Um, yeah, I did. I, at, at the Omni Hotel in New Orleans, I was staying there. We're filming a movie. And all of a sudden, the lights kept going on and off, and there was like all this craziness happening. And that's they were like, just oh, New it's Orleans. That, that's just that's New just, Orleans. That's yeah. just drunk people. That's right, like drunk 3 a.m. Right. drunk people are just like turning off the lights. It's the mayor of Toronto has arrived. Yeah, exactly, right. exactly, exactly. But yeah, if I felt something. I felt something. So I sort of feel like. It might maybe be that. It was a ghost. I hung out a little bit with your husband in Toronto. Yeah. Not Toronto in New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah, it that's felt right. like Toronto because I was with them. Yeah, that's what it was. You were, yeah. like, you were like three hurricanes later. We're well, no, I, but I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, that's quite a scene, that bar you guys have down there. It is. What's it called? You, Saints and Sinners. Oh, yeah, there's the picture. Look, oh, oh, put the, yeah, oh, oh. there, that. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you guys really hung out. Look at you. Well, we were that's on the me. balcony, and yeah. then, um, you know, you I don't know if you know this. People take off their tops. They were taking them off. I wasn't trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you and I think you came when it was like right in the beginning, so our bar was like barely running. It was probably a hot was, mess in there. No, it was it was running it was pretty running. good. Yeah. It was running. It was Lots good. Your, your husband Channing Tatum and, and you yeah. own this bar, yeah. right? Yeah. We yeah. It was this really. Um, Really, I'm not sure if it was a good decision yet. It was one of those things that we were like, a bar on Bourbon Street. Like, that just makes so much sense to do that. It's like fallen into our laps. And were you in a drunken like, stupor when you made this decision? We might have had, like, right. we might have had a few hurricanes. Right. Charges. But then it takes so much, you know? You, we, don't, we don't have the time to be there, so it's kind of like we go there every time. We're like, do people actually come? Do they actually Oh, yeah, I, I, I think people We got a there. reality show, though. You know, yeah, there's a reality show yeah. about, is it on Lifetime? Because yeah. no, they're edgy. No, 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 we should put it on Lifetime. Right. No, no, it's on a &E. So it's oh, the same, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's same, all part of the same uh, network of yeah. cableness. Yes, it is kind of. I think so. I think they're part kinda, of the same right? thing. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Think right. But yeah, so we do. So we have this new fun reality show coming out. Which do you do you live down in New Orleans? No, you? we're there now. We're there now because Chan's doing a movie. But we don't live there. Right. You, well, you live here. We live here. Yeah, you got a little baby now, haven't you? I do. What I you got? Girl. That's a nice. Girl yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What age is she? Five and a half months. Five and a half months. Yeah. She yeah. getting any sleep yet? No. No, no, no sleep at all. No. How come you look like that? I, I, it's like it's all smoke and mirrors. It's like two hours of this much makeup and. Nah, I, I know. You. I sit close I to them you. quite a lot of the time. You've got it going on. I sit. Thank uh, you. Listen, some of the guys I sit next to. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah, you like, could use another hour. Mm, yeah. 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 No, really, please. So Kevin Klein, did you see him there? <laughs> yeah. No. No. Are you kidding? Amazing. A lot of makeup. <laughs> Hi, it was fine. So yeah. where do you live then? You live. Uh, yeah. We live. We live here in LA. We live like right up in the hippie hills. Don't 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 say no. where you live. But not the street. A very creepy people watch, or in fact, very <laughs> very, very creepy, creepy people, people watch a show. Host this show, actually. Are you so where show do you live? Up? Just so I know where to train my house. telescope. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Nah. No, yeah, we live here, but we're we're always somewhere. You know, we're always filming or. Somewhere crazy. You guys met on a movie, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Step what up. What was the Step Up? The dance movie. You were a dancer, I'm that's a dancer. right. Yeah. Do you, are you da back at dancing after having a baby? You know, I know, but I was like six and a half months pregnant, like popping it in the back of a hip hop class. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm afraid so. I don't know what popping <laughs> means. And I was like, I immediately said that, like, oh God, do I have to show that? Do I have to show do, what do, that do, is? No. You, no. No, you can if you want. No. You can dance with it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Do you have dance? No, I was 
pregnant, so well, my That's good. Not good for your like, baby, though, to do all that, I isn't think it? So. Do you think your daughter is going to be she's a musical? Right. Likes, well, there you are. Then. She likes hip hop music. She goes to sleep, by the way, to Drake. How funny is that? Like you put on Drake, and she's like, "I'm it, out. Dude, I'm asleep." It's so weird what they're like. My three-year-old, yeah. all he wants to do is watch monster truck rallies on YouTube. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but you're I'm, like, but that's easy because then you can like pull it up, and then they're yeah. All he just, he's just like, music. oh, and the monster yeah. truck, and it, now he's got me into it. I'm yeah. like. That's actually awesome. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Then you're all into it. You're like, yeah. Monster truck. Then they have the rallies. You can go to. Have you ever rallies. been to a monster truck yeah. rally? No. You gotta go. But I kind of want to. Yeah, yeah. Me and you and your husband and my <laughs> and kid Emily. and we'll go to, uh, <laughs> yeah, go to a exactly. monster truck rally. It'll be like, bring my little daughter. It'll be like a family day out. Mm, you're right. We shouldn't right. do it. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Anyway, we're out of time. All right. You want an awkward pause? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing smell my finger awkward pauses tonight. Is that? I hope that's all right. Is that all right? Totally. Because I can do something else if you want. I, I, I'm feeling it. All right. <laughs> it's creeping you out in any way? <laughs> I can smell the other one. <laughs> well, there you are then. So the uh, show, what's the show called again? Witches of East Witches End. Witches of the East End, yeah. Yes. Is it the East End of? Of East End, not the East End. Oh, oh, of East End. East End. Where, yes. Where's East End? Um, off Long Island, a mysterious city off Long Island. <laughs> That's probably not true at all. I'm pretty sure I just, just made that up. You're but just yeah. making it <laughs> up right now. That's good, though. That show is a creative endeavor. Yeah. You'll be very yeah. rich. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Did you ever watch... Uh, Bewitched? Yes, I did actually one or two episodes. Yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched a few. To, like, no, it was like, like it been like yeah, 20 years before you were thing. born. We should do that thing with her right, nose and stuff. It. That was cool. Yeah, yeah I can do we're that. like the new Bewitched, sort of. Yeah, you're meets like the charm. new Bewitched, but it's got meets, meets flying edgy knives. Lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, edgy lifetime. Well, I'm... Might have to you renew know what my doing subscription. Sunday nights. <laughs> Isn't Project Runway on Lifetime? It is. Do you watch Project Runway? Yes. I'm kind of interested in Yeah, Dance one. Moms is on Lifetime. Yeah, that one skipped me. Well, you were a Dance Mom, though. I, I wasn't. I'm, I'm, I'm not a Dance Mom yet. But, um... What is mom, Dance Moms? Like, it's, it's where the moms are all crazy. They put their kids in dance classes, and they're all nuts, and they're like, you better do dad, you know, you isn't that, what, isn't that what the Honey Boo Boo thing was not? What, that? Honey Boo Boo was amazing. Yeah. Honey Boo Boo was the best of all the best reality Yeah, but what, what was the show that she came from? Little, little... Dancers oh, or no, something? no, that was um, Toddlers and Tiaras. Toddlers and Tiaras, yeah. Bad yeah. that I know all these students. <laughs> yeah, it's shows. pretty bad. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah. no, no, that is Toddlers and Tiaras, which is no, also crazy. No, I, I never watched It's not on Lifetime, but. It's not? No. Maybe it'll be on the new Edgy the Lifetime. New edgy yeah. Lifetime. <laughs> say goodnight. Say goodnight. Go on, say goodnight. Goodnight. Bye. 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 the show tonight? Well, we learned how to play air bingo. We did. Excuse me while I warm my testicle by the fire, would you? <laughs> Normally I wouldn't do this, of course, but I'm in a drunken stupor. Right, right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, um, what did you learn on the show? Yeah, how to play air bingo. Air bingo, yeah. That you have uh, one testicle. <laughs> no, no, I have two. I just, I'm only using one this evening. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and where's, where's, uh, where's the other one? Um, it's in uh, New Orleans. Did you leave it there? I left it with Channing Tatum. I understand. Uh, it seemed to be having a better time with him, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Good night.